Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is going to be about how to draw this star pattern around a circle where everything's equal. And actually, this is the same star pattern, just duplicated three times, made a little bit bigger. So every time you make a duplicate and you expand it out and make another one, it not only expands your circle, but it makes your stars bigger. So the best way I've found to do this let's say that's about the size of the star you want well to make it go around your circle and then end up evenly you need to have a measurement and working with the curve of the measurement or a measurement on a curve you can see our star is uh, 0.875 across but the circle is just a hair longer than that because it's got an arch to it. So we need to find out what the distance between that arch is or how many degrees it is. So all I did was take a your straight line, use your control key so it go down so it's perfectly parallel with your table, hit the P on the keyboard. We'll actually make it a little bit longer. And I'll tell you what, we'll move this up to the center. So I've got this line, and I let's say I want 48 stars. Well, I need to to get 48 stars in there. The angle would need to be 7.5. So you only need uh, three point. Well, let's see what it is. Three three point seven. And it's actually 3.7 something, but so we'll take our line, double click on it and get our rotation and put it to the center. And then move this 3.7. It's right on the line. Make a duplicate of that. Make the other one, take a calculator out and go 360 minus 3.7. You need 356.3. So, so go 356.3. Now you got your two lines. I'm just going to keep my two lines there also. But now you can take your star and make it fit. And you can see the lines are a little bit different. But you can make, so let's just back up here and just use my two lines. And... But there's my star and it's it's touching. It's almost touching the red line there. And it's almost it's it's a little bit over on this side. So, but we're not talking about that big a deal. So take your star and double click on it. Well, I'll tell you what, before we do that, let's make a duplicate of it. So control D. Move your rotation skew to the center and now let's rotate it 7.5 degrees duplicate and just go all the way around and you'll end up with a perfect matching circle take everything away take your zoom in real close and take your circle away and there you have a star group this together take away your indexing line now what you can do you can make this smaller put it in the center let's control D make it a little bit bigger put it in the center control D again and like I said before no, we didn't move away far enough with that second one let's go a little bit further P on the keyboard control D control D and there you have a star pattern I'm not gonna ever say you would use five lines of stars but uh, it's pretty neat especially one of them around a you know if you're making some sort of plaque anyway hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching